What's up, YouTube? We back here with another reaction video. So today we got the Israel on the Science press conference uh, post fight. So they already fought, and I ain't gonna lie, the fight was wild. If you if you would have seen it, Israel on the Science had dodged it, and then he had came back with like two hooks and put dude to sleep. I ain't get to actually watch the full fight, but I did see some clips in it, and I ain't gonna lie, that fight was was one of them was one of them good ones so with that being said let's go on and get into this reaction make no fucking generic bullshit questions ask me some real shit that'll make me want to answer you if not i'll just go next well the outpouring of emotion that we saw in the cage was pretty special for you can you put into words it real i'm just i meant every word i said like leading up to this fight Ah, fuck, if I didn't know me, I wouldn't believe in me. Fuck, this guy already beat this guy three times. Oh, my God, yeah, how's he going to do it? And I told you, I'm locked in. I'm coming I'm coming for the kill. I'm hungry. I mean, so I said he's locked I in. I just wanted to show people the power of the human mind, the human spirit. You know, what, what you can do, no matter what, no matter if they count you. I watch too much anime, too much fucking, seen too many montages when the guy, Rock Lee, gets knocked down. And as to fall, Guy Sensei has to fight back up and then fight through adversity. You know, you never stay down. Wasn't it a rock? Even Mike Angle was playing Rocky one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the house all week. So I know you get knocked down seven times, get back up eight. I ain't gonna lie, that get really back sound good. Are. Were there any moments along so, the way where it creeped into your like a little bit of doubt creeped in? You thought maybe this guy just has my number for some reason. That's that's human. That's human. Um, I guess that's the. I know he enjoyed his get back for show. Myself. You know yourself. If you know yourself, no one else can tell you who you are. So I'm able to shut that out real quick. Uh, most people just can't do that. They they let that negative self talk sit in there, and it starts to weigh down on them. But I've been through too much in my life to be able to let this kind of thing weigh me down. So whenever that little dirty. Yeah, and props to him because he could have he could have just stopped. Opening round, tactical. I mean, dude already fought him and tried. To be honest, he could have been like, "All right, dude is nice. I probably can beat him. Maybe, maybe not." And just could have set it down, but he didn't. He wanted revenge. That's what he got. Was that a decision on your point to really turn it up in round two? Obviously, the volume increased quite a bit. I just knew I could hunt him down every time I fight this guy. First fight, second fight, third fight. I always have him in the early rounds, and then I just give him enough room to breathe so he can come back in the later rounds. So this time I said, I'm not giving him room to breathe. I'm going to suffocate him. And, yeah, I embrace the dark side. I embrace the darkness so I can show him the light. Nice. Right, last thing for me. You know, you said you were not thinking past this moment at I all. I am not thinking. I literally you don't. Start no, nope, nope, no. I'm still drinking. I ain't thinking. <laughs> Izzy, uh, obviously this week. With the engaged stuff, there's been a link with yourself and Muhammad Ali. I know that's one that you've loved your, throughout your career. Yeah. Is it cool that you had your own rope -a dope moment? You know, you're against a big punch, you Brother, lean back and fire the right the hand. The possum. So I'll tell you, he's fucking good with those leg kicks. And I was like, again? Literally, I think in the first round, I was like, fuck, again? He can't catch my leg. It's so quick because I was ready for it. I was ready to catch him. And he's so sneaky with that. I'm going to learn that off him, actually. But then, um, yeah, I, I changed the tactics up a bit. And I listened to my corner, and I trusted my instinct. But there was a moment when I was visualizing this fight, I was like, if I get the chance, and when I get the chance, George Foreman, Muhammad Ali, phantom punch, would I just let him slide? But I was like, nah, fuck that. He wouldn't have done the same to me. He will, he'll fucking come for the kill. So the honorable thing I could have done was put him out of his misery. And after that rope dope moment, I saw him lying flat on the ground, frozen like Elsa. <laughs> You also obviously had a Come on, frozen a like Elsa. Where you fired a, not one, but three arrows into him. I wonder if there's a significance to there being the number of three arrows. And then I'm sure you sort of uh, motioned someone in the crowd and took a little dive. Oh, no, I, I was, I'm petty, bro. I remember. So the first time he knocked me out in Brazil, um, his son came into the ring and then started to just lie dead next to me. And I'm like, you fucking little asshole. I'll whoop your ass if your dad don't do it for you. But then, um, yeah, I looked for his kid and I, l I pointed at him and I saw him and I was like, hey, hey, hey. Just to remind him, I saw him backstage. We're cool. He's a great champion. He's a warrior. He is his story, bro. I mean that. He's, I'm the antagonist in his story. He's a fucking beast, man. Coming from where he's come from, the adversities he's been through in his life, to get to where he's, get, he's, got, he's gotten now and taking me out, 
the way he has, it's a fucking beautiful story for him. But like I said, tonight, it's not about his story. It's about uh, I thought he was talking history. about the kid. This is an anime. That kid now becomes a fighter and comes. <sighs> Bro, I'm... <laughs> hey man, if you can crawl, we can brawl. Uh, couple of what, questions. What was the significance of the blue shorts? Usually we see you in green on Champions Cup. I, I, bro, I'm a, next time might be fucking pink shorts. You know me. I like. I like. I'm a colorful guy. Um, I think it was 16th March. I texted Tim. I was like, I want the blue shorts this fight. Tim was just like, okay. It just made sense to me because like I'm gonna be in the blue corner. I was like, I don't want to wear something that doesn't that doesn't go well with it. So you know, last time I was green shorts, red. They complementary colors. Trust me, I know art. So, yeah, blue shorts, blue tape around the wrist. It made sense. And then I started to channel Nipsey a little bit. I kept on saying, <gasps> everyone else can stay on the sidelines they used to. Because when it's, when it's time, I'm front line every time it's on, nigga. And last one for me. Traditionally, right, everyone's going to be like, oh, well, it's one on one in MMA. There should be a trilogy. But I don't keep score. I settle them. But I'm going to say. it's settled. Look, I, I, I gave him a fast track to the belt. You know, I could have said, nah, fuck no, who has he fought? Like, he fought one top five. Nah, but, you know, he did well, fought some all right guys, and beat the fucking Strickland. I was like, okay, fine, there's no one else. But also, I was looking for that challenge, the guy that beat me in kickboxing. I was looking for that challenge. That's why I took that fight. The rematch, I got the immediate rematch because of what I've done in this game. I won the belt against Kevin. I defended against Rob Romero. That Costa, is facts. Uh, Vittori. I didn't know who Dude was before. Canada. I didn't even know... Seven. No, he uh, lost the fight. We have seven fucking gems on it, you know. So uh, I, I did the hard yards and I earned my fucking rematch, you know. Now he's got to do the hard yards if he wants to do that, but I don't think he's gonna because he go cause problems at two or five and fuck. Good luck to everybody else because he's a motherfucker to deal with. I'll tell you that. Congratulations. Thank you, Oscar. Israel over here. Okay. Um, you're trending on Nigerian Twitter right now. Um, I should be. Yeah, definitely. I want people me. <laughs> ah, I want a rat do go me. Yes, uh, Israel mo bo ji o dun ayo Oluwa fe mi ti mi ta yo wun la bi o mo de son ya. Mhm. Um tell I'm saying. You're you're an African champion again. Um look, the three kings still exist. Even like I said with with Poatan, no matter what, he's always going to be a champion. A lot of people will try and like write me off and like, oh, you, you're not the champion anymore. But I was like, bro, they still call me champ. And I'm still a champion. I still carry myself as a champion. So Kamaru Usman, Francis Ngannou, they're still champions. They're always going to be champions no matter what. Once a champion, you're always a champion. Sports is one thing that unites us in Africa. Um, we had an election recently. And Pierre didn't get to hold the belt for too long either. Tonight. You were uniting people. Nigerians were talking about you. The yes. same people who were arguing and fighting each other just last week mm. were talking about you. Israel, Talk about how Bumaye. important... Israel, Bumaye. Israel, Bumaye. Israel, Bumaye. Look. Fuck, I don't want to give this nigga no clout. I don't whoop that... Uh, I want to whoop his ass so bad. I want to whoop his ass so bad. I want to do it in South Africa or Nigeria and there's this uh, but he's got to do work he's got to do something show me something so I can whoop that ass and I can show you history I'll, I'll remind you because you got to choose your words wisely, wisely when you speak on people that have come before you the people that paved the way for you you got to pick your words wisely you want to try and be a big boy you want to bamba you want you with the big boys you got to choose your words wisely but I don't want to give him no clout but if he does work and, and, and I pray to God he keeps winning. I will gladly drag his carcass across South Africa. Wallahi. You have bombarded on him now. Um, obviously, you're having a Jack and Coke. I'm sure you're not thinking about your next fight, but you like to fight three times a year. When do you think would, would be the time? I'm not even thinking he, of nothing like that. That's the last question, but I'm not thinking of nothing like that right now. It sounds like he I, next dude, he fight for the be ass whooping. So now it's time to be a bad boy in Miami. If did uh, did Brandon Mark? Mother's Milk, please. Can I have another one? Hey, Izzy. Mike Feldman with NBC Sports. Did uh, Brandon Marshall reach out to you yet? That's my dog. Um, yeah, he put a 100K on me, but I told him, look, shout out to Brandon, shout out to Drizzy, shout out to everybody else that bet on me. But you have to realize every time I step in that octagon, I put my life on the line. That's the biggest bet on this line. That's the biggest parlay you can make is put your life on this shit because a lot of people don't come back out. When they when they step in there, you know he. Uh, I don't know how long he was out for, but again, I left him frozen like Elsa. 
He could have stayed frozen, but I'm glad he melted and came back to life. But, um, yeah, honestly, it's it. I'm a betting man, too, so shout out to Steak. Um, we're about to make another deal. And, uh, yeah, run that shit up. More money. Yeah, yeah, get more money, more money. Yeah, yeah, get more your, money, more money. Your your post-fight words were electric, talking about being in that moment. And it's, it's good to see Israel on the side of your back. I ain't going to lie. Him him taking that one L or how many L's he took against one dude. But at the moment, it just honestly felt like one L. So it's good having, you know, champ back. Him and Geronte Tank Davis. Them two is who I call champions. experience just a, a fraction of that i meant that man how happy i feel right now i hope people can feel this level of happiness just once in their life but i, I really mean that because honestly people i i talk to people <coughs> every day and Excuse it's like you. bless me um but um yeah they're so defeated you know so i just want people to feel happy but i just feel like you're never going to feel that unless you go through the adversity you go through the trials and tribulations you know so, yeah, yeah, I really meant every word of what I said. And my last thing, uh, my friend is in a, a group chat there saying, uh, when you were in that, that moment, it was kind of reminiscent of the previous fight where you're against the cage. Is, are you able to remember what you're thinking in the moment? Like, uh, I'm not going out like nah, that I play, I played possum. I, I, I knew my leg was hurt, so I went southpaw. And I was like, I can't keep getting kicked in the leg like this. I was like, I t he's just fucking good at those leg kicks. I even, I can mimic them, and I've heard him in the leg as well, but he's so good at them. But then I knew, I was like, this is it. Possum, possum, possum. And then, yeah, I set traps, man. Put him in the gejutsu. And do you believe in cover jinxes? You were on the cover. You lost. I don't know if you saw this. I EA won when I was on the, on cover. the cover. No, when I was on the cover of the EA, I, I won. I won that weekend. I shot the cover with Masvidal that weekend. My bad. And I won. I beat the Drake curse. I haven't, bro, uh, what did I say? What fucking curse? I, what I did, I, I framed the gloves in the wraps, and I wrote on the frame inside what fucking curse. And that was my gift to him because he can buy whatever he wants. But that shit right there, that was priceless. So, yeah, um, I don't do no juju like that. Like, my juju is different. You know, I'm a spiritual person. My family always praying for me. My, my parents always fasting, and they got my back as well. And, yeah, we got it done. Israel in the front. A right, few right. more questions. I got to go. Uh, after your win, you walked by us on press row and you were yelling, type your Type your shit. Everybody, everybody, type your shit now. I don't know what, I don't, bro, I've tuned out from everything. I don't follow no MMA pages, really. I just like to, because I, uh, I'm not. I know he's feeling good. He's trying to, champ trying to leave. I'm as I used to. I'm still a fan. They ain't asking good I'm questions. Like everybody else's career, because I'm really doing my own shit in this game. Running my own. My own legacy. So, yeah, I was just saying type your shit now. Because, again, I, and I maintain what I said. I can do your job. You can't do mine. I mean that shit from the bottom of my heart as well. I can really, if I sit down and really immerse myself, I can study. I, I've done it before, but I just didn't fucking have a publication. But when I was a fan of this game, I studied everybody coming up. BJ Penn, Tyson Griffin, Sean Shirk, you know, uh, Rashad Evans. I can run numbers on what ufc's this happened even there was a moment there was fucking rashad and machida linking up and i was like oh shit behind the stage and i was just like ufc 98 what oh my god and you made me not like you anymore because you beat my boy da, 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 da. but then yeah I, I can do your job trust me but i'm doing my job so just remember that uh, last one for me uh i have to ask how, why you chose headstrong by trapped because the words back part. up i take you on headstrong i take on anyone the words spoke to me, and me and David were on the way to the airport, and it just came to me. I'm a vessel, I tell you. It just comes to me. And, yeah, I fuck with that track. That's an old one, and I haven't heard that in years, and I was like, this is it. This is a track. And, yeah, I think Jeff caught the moment on camera as well. It'll be on my documentary somewhere. Israel, right here. Uh, quick question. Love the Jitsus. Uh, reference to Naruto. Last question. Done with Alex or anything left there? Or onto the next It's one? done. It's done. That I, I, don't settle, I don't keep scores. I settle them. So it's done. He's had his story, now it's my story, and I've closed that chapter, and again, I move on. Where's the after party? 11 in Miami, so I got to roll. Yeah, Izzy, I'm... 11 yeah. in Miami. 
there was a lot of turnover uh, among champions like over the past few months with like Kamaru, you, um, Valentina. Like, why, why do you think that was? And then how does it feel for you to kind of re regain the I know, he's going to turn up. The, that's the game. But also, I'm an active champ. I'm always fighting. I'm always on. Uh, I know, I sure would be. Less than 20 fights left. In, in a this party game. in Miami you know straight know. after after your get back? Oh, yeah, that sounds about right. When I was in China in fucking 10 months, I fought 24 times, but I was China. Um, yeah, oh, fuck, 20. Shit. Okay, maybe two. Oh, Did I speak too soon, Tim? My bad. <laughs> and I meant, like, as in, like, 20 fights in this game. I, I, I just, so I know, like, I'm going to tick off i want to fight different heads different people i don't want to fight the same guy again and again i'm like fuck that's boring um and i finally beat him so if i didn't beat him then well, fuck i'll go again but I <laughs> me on the big stage uh, <laughs> yeah, cool, we're done just, just two quick ones real quick um yeah. what felt better uh winning the title for the first time or reclaiming it hey man they say it doesn't feel as good as your first time that first nut <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, it feels even better the second time because you get to do it again and again and again and again. And uh, uh, Dana White said that uh, it looks like Miami is going to become an annual destination. Just wondering how I did love Miami treat Miami. you? And Miami this, loved uh, me. It's not my first time here. I was here in 2015 to help Rumble Johnson rest in peace to a great man. I was here to help him in 2015 for his fight. And Miami showed me a good time. I'm back here. I've been working, but now it's time for me to show Miami a good time. So I got to roll. I'll see you guys at 11 in Miami. I appreciate you. All right, that's it for this reaction. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure I hit that like and subscribe button for more content. I'll see y'all next time.